Wouldn't it be nice if you could actually host this thing on the real web so people could see it? Let's do that real quick. Wouldn't it be cool if GitHub had a hosting service that lets you host things straight from your repository? Yes, it would. And they do. And it is called GitHub Pages. Pages.github.com. You can read all about it. Very, very easy for static websites. So let's turn it on. Um, oh, okay, okay, kids, don't look real quick. Let's, let, let's go. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. None. Save. Don't, don't, don't look. Okay, let's turn it on for the first time ever. So go to your repository and actually do this right now. Go to your repository for Spellbook. And look for the Settings tab. So you got Code, Issues, Pull Requests, Projects, etc. All the way in the far right, Settings. Scroll down a bit until you find GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages is designed to host your personal organization or project pages from a GitHub repository. Currently disabled, select a source below to enable it. So select the master branch and hit save. That'll refresh the page. So when it refreshes, scroll back down to GitHub Pages. And it'll say your site is ready to be published at, and then a URL. Copy that URL, right click on it, say copy link address. Scroll up, go back to your code. Notice here it says no description, website, or topics provided. And over on the far right is an edit button. Go ahead and click that edit button. And in the field where it says website, not the description, where it says website, paste that in. If you want to put it in a description, you can. Uh, first project for extern bootcamp 2018. But the important thing is paste in website. And it should be there. And hopefully clicking on that works. I really want you all to do this now so because it'll make it a lot easier to, to check your work tomorrow if I can just click it and have it actually running in the browser. So please, seriously, do this. So click that. If it doesn't work, there's a couple possibilities. One possibility is you did not name your file index.html. Why do we name things index.html? It's like the default. If you, for a static site, if you just like browse to a folder, it'll look for a file called index.html and it'll go there. So if it didn't work for you, uh, change the URL to whatever you named your HTML. My fancy page.html. Make sure that works. And when you find the working page, copy that URL and go back here and edit this and paste in the website that actually works. And if you did something like capitalize I and index, it'll probably break too. And GitHub Pages automatically updates every time you push. It does take a couple minutes after you push for the updates to be there, so don't lose your mind if you've made changes and it's not there. It takes a couple minutes, but it does update automatically. And that's all there is to it. Now your project's on the web. So if you're like putting your GitHub uh, link on your resume or something, or in your LinkedIn profile, I guess, um, you know, adding the website there is nice because people can actually see your stuff running, right? And not just see your code, but actually see what it does. So it's a good idea. Even if you're hosting somewhere else, if it's an open source thing, may as well put the, a link to the working website in there. Questions about this? Yeah. Did you, did you have a capital letter in there or something like that? Okay, 